Hi, after receiving lots of requests about my gesture keyboard, I decided to make a series of tutorials that will help you build a basic but fully functional gesture keyboard. The tutorial will be divided into two parts. The first one will cover the creation of a basic motion tracking device using an Arduino and an accelerometer, while the second part will cover the creation of the gesture recognition software using Python. So let's get started. To make the motion tracking device, we will use an Arduino, an accelerometer and a simple switch. In this case, I'm using an Arduino Pro Micro, but any Arduino will do just fine. If you plan to use another model, don't worry, I will tell you what to check to make sure it's compatible. For the accelerometer, I use the name PU6050. It's very cheap and works well. If you don't have one yet, I suggest buying one or two on banggood.com. It does take a while to arrive, but it's very cheap and I paid mine less than $2. The last thing we will need is a switch used to discriminate each gesture from one another. To make things easier, I will put them together in a breadboard. Let's get started with the wiring. Start by connecting the Arduino to the breadboard, then placing the accelerometer and the button. The MPU6050 can be connected to the Arduino using the E2C protocol. To find the right pins, you can search on Google for the specific board you are using. You have to look for the SDA and SCL pins. When you found the right pins for your board, you can start wiring things up as shown in this picture. When you completed this procedure, you should have something like this. And we are ready to program the Arduino. Download the Arduino sketch following the link in the video description. Open it in the Arduino ID, setting the correct pins based on your configuration. At this point we are ready to build the sketch and wait for it to complete. By now the device should be working, let's check the serial monitor. Make sure to set the correct baud rate. If you see something like this, we are good to go. If you want to have fun you can also open the serial plotter of the Arduino ID and then Moving the motion tracking device, you should see the plot changing. That can be very useful if you want to experiment with new kinds of movement. Okay, so that's all for the first part of the tutorial. In the next part that will be uploaded next week, we will cover how to create the gesture recognition software using Python. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel to stay updated with the tutorial and with all other projects that uh, I will upload in the next uh, few weeks. Thanks for watching.